All right, what's up guys? So I just did the talk, I did the Q&A. The energy was legit. This is the best speech that I've done so far. And the funny thing is I didn't script it, I didn't rehearse it. Um, I didn't know exactly where I was going with the talk whatsoever. I just wanted to be natural. I just wanted to be genuine. I wanted to give them all of me, every single bit of it. And um, it, it went really, really good. The best speech I did so far, like I said. And all I have to say is, man, I have an overwhelming feeling of gratitude right now. I just feel super blessed, very, very humbled that the people came here to see me. It's amazing. Um, people were taking pictures with me and telling me while I'm taking the picture that I changed their life. Tell them. This guy just changed my life. He's the best coach out there. Just forget about all the pain, uh, training, all. just follow him on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook. This guy is a life changer. This is what it's all about. This is why I'm doing what I'm doing. And um, all I can say is, is I love you guys. Miami, here we come. to change your film. Look, look at your face right now. <laughs> that's like 200,000. And then the guy just calling me about sea pines, that's another 300, so four, three, that's seven, eight, nine, a million dollars worth of stuff on the way to the airport. A million dollars in sales, in real estate sales. On the way to the airport, and I get a, a message from somebody who want me to come speak at this huge real estate event in London. At 2.30, the meet and greet starts. Okay. So it would be nice to try and be there by 2.30, but obviously you need to go to your hotel, which is about 20 minutes away from the venue. Really? 15 to 20. Okay. There's no traffic today because it's Martin Luther King, right. and uh, the roads are pretty clear. You know, it's always good to be a little late to build up some suspense. <laughs> Good. I'm excited. Good? I'm excited, bro. Okay. Yeah, this is gonna be good. All right, man. Worry about you. Yeah. Well, cool. I'm just jumped into your limelight over here. <laughs> I'm like, shit, living in Ricky's shadow right now. <laughs> I've told him like 15 times that the, that the room's gonna have an iron, and like he told me like like 16 times that he's gonna bring one. And I was like, dude, they they're gonna have one at the room. I promise you. He's like, okay. And the next time I talked to him, he was like. Okay, I got you an iron, I got you this, what else you need? I'm like, I don't need an iron. There he is. The Iron Man. <laughs> there you go. Bro. Appreciate it, man. I've learned so much in the last year of what it really means to, to, to do things for free because now, like with, with my coaching, like I'm almost to a point, I'm actually past the point where I'm telling agents like that are new agents, like you need to do your first deal for free. You like go out and do your first deal for free, like help a for sale by owner, sell it, go like all out to help them sell it on his own. And they're gonna be like, what the hell just happened? The man who preaches relationships over transactions Allow me to introduce to you all, Ricky Carew. When I was a teenager, I started roofing with my father. Um, again, okay. 
very competitive. He was the best. He was the best on any job side. He laid more shingles than anybody. Sorry, Dad, I want to be the best now. I learned what he did, I watched him, and then I started putting the work in. The last, one of the last rooms we ever did together, I never forget it. I beat him to the top. And it wasn't just beat him to the top. Alright, I was in the valley. Alright, the valley comes in here, putting shingles over each other, leaving them off the roof. He's just on a straight, straight to the top, and I beat him off the valley. And that, that was a real, that was something I'll never forget because it, it, it proved to me that if I did put the work in, if I was curious enough to figure out how to do it, and then I was competitive enough to put the work in, then I could be the best. This, this opened up my eyes, my, my eyes to the fact that curiosity and, and being competitive Right, are really important, but also being efficient. If you really look back at my life and how everything has kind of played out, and really point at the activities and the actions, you know, it, it's really it's these small little efficiencies that, that most people don't get. It's the little efficiencies that add up to be so big over time. So, I made my first sale, it was my grandmother's condo, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> oh, not much, I just uh, ate a burger, I, uh, I did this, I mean, the speech was, it was the best speech I've done so far, you know what I mean? I mean, it was so insane, man, I was so lit, it was so hype, like I was making them scream and clap it up and, you know what I'm saying, like, it, it was just wild as shit, and then, the Q&A, of course, you know how those go. The venue, the, the, the place that we did it was incredible. There's graffiti everywhere. It's a brewery. And it's just a really cool place. It was like it was like 20 foot ceilings and it had this huge, like all this artwork all over the place. Um, you know, it, the whole setup. So when I got here, there was already like 30 agents standing in line to take a picture with me with the zero to diamond thing in the background. And so I'm just like person after person coming up and like saying, oh, you changed my life. Point, point, point. <laughs> take another, take another. The Ricky point. You gotta do the Ricky P sign. The Ricky P sign. This is, this is the daily grind right here, guys. So what do you think? What do you think about the speed? It was phenomenal. It was phenomenal. Yeah, I learned so much. Life changing. Life changing. I'm, I'm in mortgages and I implement everything you do actually. Yeah. And it's helping me grow my business as well. Yeah. I'm helping Thank mortgage so people, title people. A photographer came up to me in there and said, I don't know who you are, but wow. He's coming. Burgers ready, y'all. You also want ketchup on the side. Okay. Okay. I put hot sauce on there because you got really excited when I said mustard and hot sauce. Yeah, this is, this is where it's at in the world. The whole world, like, my whole life is complete now. As soon as they do, that's it. No big deal. Not not really a big loss. Uh, yeah, yeah, the poor Bama. Yeah, yeah. I used to go. I used to go to that. I used to go to that. I quit drinking. Well, it just doesn't interest me anymore, man. I'd rather like make a video or you know try to sell. You know, like try to help somebody do something. You know, like I I drank for 20 years. I drank more in 20 years than most people do in their whole life. You know what I mean? I got all that out of my system. Now I'm ready. I'm, I'm ready to like impact the world. The point is, is you gotta spread yourself out amongst a lot of people. You can't just have this one person you're trying to convert this one deal. You can't just have this one thing going. That's what I do. I get stuck in. One and that's what I'm thing. telling you. You can't do. Get... All right. So I had an agent give me some organic tea, and then she gave me this. Oh, that's tight. 
She gave me this hustle. No, that's a real glass. Or like ceramic, that's ceramic. Oh man, dude, I'm just like blown away. 